Welcome to the micro message for May 30th, 2021. I'm Tim Wood. In a number of mainline denominations, the Apostles' Creed is part of each worship service. It is a profound statement of faith that has inspired generations upon generations of believers. As a spiritual exercise, I decided to create my version of a creed. In doing so, I did some serious thinking about what the faith is all about. In this and maybe the next couple of micro-messages, I'll explain my statement of faith. Here's what it says. I believe in God as represented in the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. God is the sole judge of what constitutes a saving faith. I have chosen faith in Jesus Christ as my path to connecting with God. God, the creator of all things, is all-powerful and all-knowing. Beginning with the first breath we take, we become receivers of God's grace in its many different forms. We are never apart from God's grace and God's desire to connect with us. The rebellion in the Garden of Eden separated humankind from God. The crucifixion, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ offers to everyone a way to connect with God. All who accept God's gift of salvation through Jesus Christ experience a spiritual rebirth. Salvation is not a one-time event. God is saving us every day of our faith journey. I respect people of other faiths, faiths as well as those who choose not to believe in a deity. God sent Jesus so we could live through him. God is able to do far beyond all that we could ask or imagine by his power at work within us. God did not put me in this world to judge people. The message of the Bible is that of love, grace, mercy, and inclusion. All scripture should be interpreted within the context of that message. There's a supernatural entity who opposes God and God's people. The entity has been known as the devil, Lucifer, or Satan. I use the name Great Deceiver, for that best describes the attacks of this entity. By faith, all believers know that God will defeat the Great Deceiver for all time. In the end, God wins. And that's the end of, end of it. I'm going to start explaining parts of it, starting off with, I believe in God as represented in the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. There is only the one true God. I am certain that the life and teachings of Jesus Christ represent the one true God. God is the sole judge of what constitutes a saving faith. I have chosen faith in Jesus Christ as my path to connecting with God. I do, I do not make judgments about the validity of other religions. Only God decides what constitutes a saving faith. In Acts 10, God recognizes the faith of Cornelius, a non-Jew who worshipped God and helped the poor. Jews generally did not associate with the Gentiles. However, Cornelius was well respected by all Jewish people. God sent a vision to Peter to tell him that he should share the gospel with Gentiles. God arranged for Peter to visit Cornelius. When Peter arrived at Cornelius' dwelling, he said, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. Everyone is born with a spiritual void in their lives that only God can fill. God hears the prayers of all people who earnestly seek to fill that spiritual void in their lives. It doesn't matter where they live or what their ethnicity is. There are no magic words anyone must say. One must only seek God. And the good news is, God is looking for us. Some say there are multiple paths to God. It doesn't matter to me if there are any other paths. I can speak only of my experience, which is that Jesus Christ is the path to God. This is supported by my study of the Bible, the testimonies of other believers, and my experience. I do not support the idea of universalism, in which all people will spend eternity with God, regardless of what they believe, say, and do in this life. Again, God is the sole judge of what constitutes a saving faith. I respect people of all faiths. I do not judge them. They too are looking to fill that spiritual void in their lives, just like me. All I can and should do is testify about my own faith journey. Amen.